Welcome back to Stories for Shabbos. One of our favorite people to tell stories about is the Chafetz Chaim. I think we even told the stories for Shabbos about him once. Remember, many months ago, we told a story about the Chafetz Chaim giving away free fish to all of his customers to make sure that he didn't take anything that didn't belong to him. Well, this week, we're going to tell another new story about the Chafetz Chaim. That even though we've told lots of stories at our Shabbos table about him, we've never told this one because I just heard it this week. And the reason it's appropriate for this week is because yesterday was the Chavitz Chaim's yard site. 88 years ago, 1933, on Chaf Dalad Elul, the Chavitz Chaim died. So this week we're going to remember and learn a lesson and a story from the Chavitz Chaim. Here it goes. The Chavitz Chaim lived in a small town in Poland called Raden. Very good. Rodden, Poland. And one time he was taking a train ride to a different city. I don't know exactly where he was going. I don't know the details of the story. But he was on the train with some of his students and maybe some of his friends, and they were taking a ride to a different city. Now, you know how a train is made up? There are lots of different cars. There are lots of different cars, and they're all connected. And you sit in one car, but when the train stops, you can actually walk from one train car to the next. They kind of connect. You have to step outside for a second and it'll walk on a little step and then you can walk into the next train car. So while the train was stopped, for some reason the Chavetz Chaim and his students decided to move from one, one train car to another one. Maybe it was more comfortable, maybe there were fewer people. I don't know why they were moving, but they were. While they were moving, while they were taking that one step outside of the train, the Chavetz Chaim's shoe fell off. And it fell off the train onto the ground next to or near the train tracks. And obviously that's a very dangerous place. You can never go anywhere near the train tracks. So he couldn't pick up his shoe. And a couple minutes later, the train starts pulling away and the students are watching the Chavetz Chaim and you know what he does? He quickly takes off his other shoe and throws it off the train. So a student said, huh? Uh, Rebbe, what are you doing? Just because one shoe fell off, why are you taking off your other one? They thought maybe he was like angry or frustrated or something, but they had never seen the Chavetz Chaim angry before. And he said to them, I'll tell you why I threw my other shoe there. Because once one shoe fell off, there's really not that much I can do with one other shoe. I don't have a pair. I'm gonna need to buy new shoes. One shoe doesn't quite do it. But one day somebody might be walking by, maybe a poor person, Maybe somebody doesn't have enough money to afford to buy himself shoes and he'll find one shoe next to the train tracks. What's he gonna do with one shoe? I might as well throw my other one there so hopefully someone will find them and be able to use them. Somebody should be able to enjoy my shoes. And I found that to be such an amazing story with the Chavetz Chaim because the Chavetz Chaim was such a great Tom and Chacham. He was one of the greatest minds, greatest writers, greatest thinkers we have had in hundreds of years. He wrote books like the Mishnah Brura, which is a book on halacha that people learn in shuls and in schools and in the base measures every single day. He wrote svarim about the base of Mikdash and about Karbanos. He wrote so many important svarim, but also, maybe even most importantly, he was such a tzaddik, such a nice man, such a mesh, that many of us were so focused on ourselves that when something happens to us, like we drop our shoe or we break something or we spill something, we just get upset and say, oh, why does this always happen to me? Now I only have one shoe. Now my sock's gonna get wet. Now I'm gonna be cold. What am I gonna do? But the Chavetz Chaim, when something happened to him, instead of getting upset or instead of getting frustrated, he would think, how can I use this as an opportunity to help somebody else? Because the Chavetz Chaim wrote lots of other books also. Books about how we should speak properly, how we should act properly, how we should do chesed. Because the Chavetz Chaim understood that there's nothing more important and helping and thinking about and caring about other people. And even the small little chesed and the small little mitzvah of trying to make sure that somebody else, maybe a poor person who can't afford shoes, will be able to enjoy your shoes was one of the lessons that the Chavetz Chaim told us. So next time something happens to you that's a little bit annoying or a little bit frustrating, you lose something or you spill something or you're missing something, instead of just getting upset and just getting frustrated, see if you can use that as an opportunity to try to help somebody else. The more we think about each other and about other people, the better we will all be. Good Shabbos. Good Shabbos.